Hi, welcome back to another how to tutorial video. I'm gonna explain the god Artemis. Artemis. And she is not one of my best ADCs either. Actually, yeah, I don't think I've gotten to any of my really good gods yet. Besides Amazenkom, who I really love to play. He's a really great god and very annoying. But I've seen Artemis being played so many ways. Let the hunt begin. You know, when I first watched it, I was actually amazed when I saw it. Minions have spawned. I bet they have. And you know, a lot of recommend items don't mean they're the best items to get. And so, I want to explain different things in different situations as well. Because a huge thing is when the teams have like healers, etc. You know, nobody builds properly like they should to be a supportive teammate, you know, because this is a big team game. And teamwork really, really matters. Excuse me, I'm just having a drink. Um, one of the things I always love to build on all my ADCs is Devourer's Gauntlet. The Executioner, which I explained in some other ADC videos. And then, you know, if they have a lot of like tanks, etc., you know, buying Titan's Bane is a great thing. If there's healers, always the beat brawler stick just to reduce their healing by 40% and regeneration for 8 seconds. And then another thing I always open up is not the ninja tabby like people just for the 15% attack speed is the warrior's tabby. This I mean the difference point. between 20 physical power and 40 is just, it becomes tremendous. And so... And in my other videos too, I love to express haste and follows. But with Artemis, I usually do not. And the reason being is because she has a slow, a, like a grab. It just roots the enemies in place. They can't move. And then she has an attack speed and power buff. And then her ultimate, which is a stun. And it allows her to move very quickly and freely during that time as well. So I would skip that and I would actually go my queen this size. The, the next thing you can always do is my favorite, Deathbringer and Malice. And I mean, just this combo together, you'll see how powerful it is here shortly. It just makes a huge difference, you know. And I, I express this build a lot in a lot of my other videos. And I try to explain some other things of like why I would get Beat Brawler's Thick, why I would get Titan's Bane. And certain other things, you know, and if you're a big um, user and abilities, etc., you can always get rid of the haste or the Deathbringer and Malice, always go always with a Rage, there. and then you could always go for the Jutin's Wrath, which gives you 25% cooldown to reduction, 40 physical per tower, and 11 penetration, which and an extra 150 mana, which is it's a great, I think it's one of the best items in Smite. It's truly a great item. And so in this build, you're expressing more power in attack speed than movement speed. And so with that, I usually get purification beads with her, just in case the enemy team likes to jump on me. And then I would always go with a sprint with her. Just in case an enemy tries to run away, etc., you know, you can chase him down. And then, as you can see, Artemis passive. Artemis gains a critical strike chance buff on each successful hit. And as you can tell, she'll gain up to three stacks, which makes it 15% critical striking. So you don't really need to build high critical striking. But it would just make her that much more deadly if you did, because you'll probably crit every single attack. And so, to express her abilities, a lot of people use her one defensively. Get out of they this. just place her one down here, and they'll place them along the sides. But I've seen it being used offensively. And the reason I say this is what they love to do is they, they number three, they number two them. Um, and just that combo alone, as you see, like I number three them. Her number three slows the enemies. Right after I number three them, I number one so he gets stuck, and number two to increase my attack speed. 
And then, you know, if you're being against a lot of enemies, you can always number three, number one, number two, or number four, and then number two and it's gonna stun all the enemies. You can put in some hurt and then just right here haste away if you have any problems. And then like if you get stunned or something, you bead and you get out and bam, you are golden. Well, this video was a little bit shorter than the other ones, but I hope this was very informative for you to express her gameplay or style or abilities along with her passive. Thanks again for watching. If you like, please subscribe. I'll be making some more videos and some gameplays. I hope to do some other reviews here shortly as well. Thanks again.